Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never watched one of my messages before, I am a seer so I tap into past, present and future energies, I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer and I've become a bit of a twin flame guide as well, I may as well add that into my video too. So chances are you've been guided to my channel for any reason, you could be a twin flame because I am a twin flame myself. So. Before I begin, I always begin my message the same way, by calling in my protection and guidance for myself and for you watching at home. So let's do that. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward this message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can I please ask that you surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward this clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also ask you, Archangel Michael, that whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home and pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you so much, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Let's clear the energy. So I'm just going to go with the flow tonight. The song that's been coming through a lot today is Air Supply, I'm All Out of Love. I'm all out of love, I'm so lost without you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's All Out of Love by Air Supply. Um, the other song that was coming through just and along for this reading was, it was, it's from My Fair Lady. I think it's in this, Wouldn't It Be Lovely? All I want is a room somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure it's My Fair Lady. I'm sure Audrey Hepburn was singing that song at some point in the movie. Um, with one enormous... So somebody that some, My Fair Lady could mean something. Someone could be watching that. Or someone could just love that film or that song. Or this could be what someone's thinking. Um, so I'm just going to go with the flow here. I've got my um, Atlantis... Oracle deck out, so there's definitely a so weird. I started an artwork today, which I, I did the background all gold and silver. I was planning to make it an Egyptian scene, and um, because I've painted a few Egyptian artwork, and today I was, and then suddenly at the last minute I changed, and it became a uh, almost like some sort of sea kelpy mermaid type of thing, and so the background suddenly got covered with turquoise and white, and and a mermaid appeared, um, so. I changed, but there's definitely been a lot of dolphin energy today coming through. Um, so I've got the Atlantis Oracle deck, I've got the Ascension um, deck to see what energies are working with this couple. I do feel a very strong energy coming through. Now today's new moon, it's a happy new moon in Gemini, all about communication, all about twins. And today is 6-6 six, six portal, or as I wrote in my journal today, it was 6-6-24, six six which actually is the number of true, the numbers of true love as well. So a very powerful day today. So I'm going to start getting some energy with the Moonology deck, and then we'll get some tarot. But there's definitely so much union energy in there, and I'm pretty sure you're all feeling it out there as well. And I see all the readers kind of picking up on this energy too. Um, so there's definitely very intense 
energy. And today, you know, I, I actually meditate a couple of times today, once this morning and um, again this evening because it was just the energies were so intense and I wanted to kind of make the most of my time um, while I was feeling that intense energy just to really tap in to with my higher self and see what wanted to come through. Um, so there's definitely a lot of communication wanting to come in. So let's see here. Let's see. What? Sorry, I don't know what that is on my... I think it's my hair... My hair's dripping onto the table. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so let's see. Can you give me um, some Moonology cards, please, for this reading? So now I kept on seeing this when I was shuffling. South Node, don't let your past hold you back. Now, South Node, if I remember rightly, is all about karma. Clearing past life karma. Because I think I remember reading about that somewhere before. Your North Node is to do with your divine purpose. Your South Node is to do with the lessons, the karmic lessons and the karmic um, past you need to close out. So someone here could definitely be closing out some sort of karmic cycle. Clearing past life karma. So believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So... This is saying anything you feel isn't that's not possible and actually it's so weird because I kept on saying that yesterday and today. Just out of the blue I was going out of the blue and it's the blue moon. But I kept on going believe in the impossible, believe in the impossible and I kept saying that. So there's definitely that energy that's coming through the collective right now. Believe in the impossible. Something you thought that was not possible is about to become possible. Yeah. And this is an energy that's going through the Twin Flame Collective right now. There's huge changes happening this month. It, oh, <laughs> expect powerful change. Oh my goodness. New moon eclipse. I, just as I've said that, there's huge changes taking place this month. Wow. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. The new moon in Cancer is obviously coming up in a few, a few months. In a few weeks time as well. So between now and the new moon in Cancer, expect huge changes to come in here. And I feel that June is going to be intense. And I'm just feeling like, yeah, strap yourself in. In fact, yesterday I had the image of a steering wheel and the someone getting into the wheel of a car. And I am just saw that again when I said strap yourself in. I feel this is there's something about to take off here, probably for more than one of you. This could be for one, of, one or two of you. This could be a few of you. So let's see. Could be a general message. Um, and the reason why I said at the start of my reading about me being a twin flame guide, because I was told today in my meditation, you know, you're a teacher, you're you're an actual guide for twin flames right now. So you you, you don't tell people that enough, and I guess I, I do try. <laughs> but that's why I'm now adding that to my I am a twin flame guide for the time being. Um it's one one of my one of my things I'm doing right now. So let's see. And I'm still learning about the Twin Flame journey myself, so I am no expert yet, so that's for sure. We're all learning together. So have faith in your dreams, the, the waxing crescent moon. And again, I feel this is the energy of believing the impossible. Whatever you whatever you see in your future, but you think that's never going to happen, I don't have the money for that right now, I don't know how I would ever get that idea off the ground, balance. So it could be Libra as well. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So, no, I don't know when all the, the full moons is, unfortunately. I don't know when the full moon in Libra is, but there's definitely Libra energy here. Libra and Cancer. <laughs> oh my goodness. New moon in Gemini. Communication is key this month. Wow. I love when I get like an actual moonology card out on the day of the actual moon moon phase. So that always brings me so much joy. On the bottom of the deck, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This is so important for all of you right now. It's so important for every single divine being at the moment. Your meditation is your direct line to, to God. It's your direct line to the divine. It's your direct line to your guides, your angel, 
your angel support network, whatever this means to you, um, whoever you like to connect with, um, as I say, where it's your spirit guides, your ancestors, whatever. But meditation for all divine beings at this time, especially twin flames. That I have found out so much about my twin flame connection just through meditation in the last few days. And you'll find out a lot more through meditation than what you will through readings. And I can promise you that. And I know that sounds ironic considering what I do here, but as I say, I don't consider myself just a tarot reader because I I feel I, I do a lot more than just read tarot cards. Um, but there's definitely, you will find out more through meditation than what you ever will watching tarot readings. And there's a lot of amazing tarot readers out there. Don't I'm not condemning tarot readers. Tarot readers help me immensely. And there's some readers who really help me at the start of my ascension journey. And I I still like to check in with their channels now, not because I really watch them anymore, but because I feel kind of loyal to them because they really help me. So tarot readers are amazing at helping people on their spiritual journey. And but honestly, you will find out more about your twin flame connection through meditation and through quiet time, spending time in nature and things. But communication is key this month. There is big changes coming in, a win-win outcome for a lot of twin flames. Your dreams are going to be made a reality. Nothing is impossible here. Somebody has to clean, clear away their karma. That's probably what the holdup is. But expect huge changes this month. And don't worry about the people around you that you care about because they are very much protected and just me saw this blue here archangel michael's um colors so very much protected so let's get some tarot on this let's see what wants to come through i didn't really tap in too much i usually listen in about a bit but i wanted it to be more free-flowing tonight i want um to let spirit just come through and see what message they want to get out to the twin flame collective for this new moon um and as I say, we'll get some Ascension cards. I do feel a lot of Atlantis energy, Lemuria energy. Um, so let's see. Let's see. One more shuffle, please. And then let's find out what you want. As I say, this could be for one of you or a number of you. So let's see. So Five of Swords. So I always say this, people... People always say this is to do with a lot of fights and things like that. And it can be to do with fights. Um, it can be to do with the verbal arguments and things. But I always see the Five of Swords as more someone's walking away from having a disagreement with someone. It's almost like um, a disagreement where there was no, no, you know, like a kind of argument where it's like everyone's trying to get the last word, but the last word means absolutely nothing anyway, because no one really won the argument because both of you are in the wrong or both of you are in the right. So that kind of energy. And that's what I kind of get from the Five of Swords. So I feel like someone is realizing here, this was a pointless argument. It was a pointless disagreement um, because ultimately I know that we're, the same outcome is going to happen here. So I don't know what this is, but let me see. Can we get a bit more clarity on the Five of Swords here? bit more clarity on this five of swords king of cups could be a cancerian because we had cancer um come out in the monology cards but it just tells me i feel this masculine has been fighting his emotions for a while i feel like he's been swallowing his emotions for a while like you know um like lumping my throat lumping my throat and i'm not going to face it i'm not going to face it i feel this person has been struggling to face up to their, their emotions yeah they've hidden their emotions again that cancerian energy coming through so strongly i'm going to sneeze now oh that just came on me really fast there excuse me <laughs> i'm apologizing now because it's never never nice to someone sneezing with eyes closed and everything maybe i'll be able to fend it off for the moment yeah this person's never showed you their emotion king of swords this person could have been very cold very blunt um now the king of swords is a communicator they are but sometimes they're not the most emotive communicator let's be honest <laughs> they are very much like you know black and white there's no there's no in between 
they see it this way, they don't see it that way. So they'll they'll talk to you about the thing as long as you're talking about it on their terms. So this person may have been quite blunt to you, quite sharp with their words. Um, they were very the opposite of emotional. And this masculine could have been literally five of swords in with himself. Between his emotions and his his logical thinking, like how can I feel this way about someone? They're not even my usual type. Or how can I feel this way about someone who, you know, I've just met and suddenly I, you know, I cannot get them out of my head. So this person is, feels like they could have been at loggerheads with himself. Yes. This person's been this person's been at loggerheads with himself over this love. They cannot understand. They cannot understand why they love you so much. Yeah. They just don't, they don't understand. How can, they're like, I, I, I don't fall in love easily. How can I be in love with this person? This person's baffled. <laughs> Look, the sun. This person is being enlightened right now about how much they love you, but they're also seeing that you are their happiness. You could be a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart, but this person is seeing you as their happiness. I feel like they're seeing clearly for the first time. <sighs> Temperance. So this person is now, the energies are balancing out here. There's something alchemizing in this connection. This is Archangel Michael's energy too. There's something, you know, this, this masculine could be literally seeing you as an earth angel to them as well. Mm-hmm. Feel this masculine thought. <laughs> you know, sometimes when when um it's almost like a mirage in the desert, I feel the masculine felt like you were a bit of a mirage. They just saw this vision, you were you're this beautiful, radiant, you know, you I feel I feel like you are like the sun to this person. This person just likes to bask in your personality because you're so sunny and cheerful and loving kind of angelic energy but I think at the same time they thought this is a mirage this is a, this is can't be real <laughs> and they regret it they regret thinking that you were for real I don't know why I'm getting that I'm getting this person thinking this isn't for real like this like they were looking around for like some sort of hidden camera or something you know like is this some sort of game show is this a tv show where you know, I'm falling in love with my perfect woman, then someone's going to jump out and say, surprise, you've been, <laughs> you've been caught in candid camera or something. This person just felt too good to be true energy from you. And they're in deep regret for that. Yeah. Nine of swords. This person, this person is literally like, what have I done? What did I do? I cannot believe what I've just done. This person needs to communicate and express their feelings to you. Because right now I think you think they're just... Queen of Wands is here. So you could be a Leo or a Sagittarius with Temperance and Leo card coming out. Um, I'll get some signs at the end. But there's... Yeah, as I say, I feel this masculine kind of basks in your... I think you're you're exciting, you're fun, but you're loving. And this person, I just feel this person kind of, because you know, I'm just picturing someone sitting and sitting in the rays of the sun with their eyes closed and just thinking this feels so amazing. And I feel that's what the energy you give off to this masculine. Libra energy, because we did get Libra in the moonology card. So you could, this divine feminine could be a Libra, but there's justice being brought to this situation here. And it could be, I mean, yeah, a decision's being made. This feminine was unfairly judged by this masculine in some way. Um, but he's now made a decision he wants to bring balance back to this connection. And I think it's because he knows, I think, I, as I say, I feel like he judged you for being too perfect, Divine Feminine. And I know that sounds crazy. Um... He may also have listened to friends who said, oh, there's no way she can, yeah, conflict. 
there's no way that she can be that that you know good or there's something something not right here mate or something because this person um there could have been conflict with you and this person at some point but i do feel the masculine has been dealing with conflict maybe with with people he took advice from here ace of pentacles oh or this was people deliberately trying to keep this emperor stuck for his ace of pentacles um i'll clarify i will clarify there's definitely this emperor is coming in with an ace of pentacles here to their their um divine counterpart can you clarify the, the conflict card please there was just whatever was causing this masculine to not make a decision they've made a decision now they're taking a leap of faith towards their divine counterpart um as i say i'm not too sure what the five of wands was about let's see okay so ten of cups queen of cups three of swords this masculine may have had to walk away from another situation here now they don't have to have been in a marriage but i mean the the justice card signifies legal legal stuff going on too and then followed by judgment so there could be justice and judgment together it can sometimes mean divine judgment but this can also mean legal matters going on a decision's been made in court over something and just the fact five of wands was clarified by the queen of cups the ten of cups and the three of swords and then the two of pentacles so this masculine may have definitely been struggling in the past to make a decision between an ex-partner who they had family with, just with the kids being on here. Um, and they may have struggled to make a decision about that. But they have made a decision now, for sure. They're taking a leap of faith towards this divine connection. Yeah, they were definitely um, struggling to, to choose. Yeah, look. Tower and the Six of Swords. Eight of Swords as well. So this person, <laughs> I feel, as I say, I get this energy of someone with their head in their hands. I keep looking at the Nine of Swords and somebody like, literally with their head in their hands. I feel this masculine when he made the choice, whatever he said or whatever he said to you here, because I do feel he was very King of Swords to you at some point, Divine Feminine. He may have said, look, it is what it is. You know, I don't have feeling for you. I'm you know happy in my situation or something or i have to stay where i am for my kids or something and as soon as they've done it they regretted it as soon as they cut you off they regretted it straight away and it put them through a terror moment it put them through some sort of awakening um and now they are they are moving on here there is some sort of legal matter that's been um, drawn out in court here. I feel that could be to do, you know, child custody or something. Money. It's to do with money. It's to do with assets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Family assets. This is all to do. This is, um, this is all to do with um, legal assets, family assets, family money, an empress. Yeah, there's, there's, um, Empress and Four of Cups. So this tells me this masculine was being distracted by an Empress energy here, either a mother or a wife, who was keeping them distracted from their love for you. But also it tells me this person was in some sort of connection. They had no love for this person. Well, this masculine had I have a lot of strength and courage here to overcome this energy. And it's strange because I've been getting a lot of Leo energy for this masculine and Libra. So, and now that's like Capricorn. So I don't know if there was like a Leo and a Capricorn involved. And there's a King of Wands. And right behind that is a Six of Wands. So this, this Divine Masculine definitely sees victory and success on the horizon for themselves here. But I'm just going to clarify everything I've picked up on here intuitively and see... 
is this um, a legal proceeding going on? Look, this is oh, this is money from this is family money. Six of Pentacles is inheritance. Six of Cups is to do with childhood. This is some sort of um, now this could be spiritual inheritance from past lives as well. Um, this could be like ancestral inheritance, but somebody wanted to hold on to the masculine for that. Yeah, this, this somebody saw this masculine as their nine of pentacles, their meal ticket. <laughs> yeah, this masculine's a hierophant. They they want you to hold on to this divine masculine because of his his divine um divine calling, his uh, his inheritance. Two of pentacles. This masculine now wants to. Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, there's so many orbs shooting about here past me. I keep on catching them out of the square of my eye. Um, this masculine now wants to come in and collaborate with you, Divine Feminine, because they know they're meant to be working on some sort of divine purpose or something with you. I'll find out what. Yeah, this masculine's awakened. They're awakened. They've, they totally see things clearly now. Yeah, the eight of swords coming upside down this time. So this masculine look and the world card. So this the cycle of the masculine feeling anxious and confused is over. That cycle's closed out here. <laughs> the masculine is now using his intuition, and that's why he's coming back to you here with some sort of offer. Knight of swords, knight of pentacles, some sort of truth. Coming in now. Let's just clarify here. This masculine has not told you how he feels for you, and he probably never told you how he felt for you because he was tied up in another situation. But do you know what? This is the energy that's coming out most nights. Pisces and Leo energy coming through quite strongly. Just when I split the deck, I mean, there's so many masculines now who are leaving their karmic situations, and it's like a, it's haptic happening in a big way all over the world I feel um yeah judgment and and the sun card again so yeah things have definitely been highlighted people's awakening up to things now they're walking away from five of pentacles situations so can I just clarify is this masculine um dealing with legal issues so nine of swords tell me a bit more about this oh yeah this masculine's on the move um, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Chariot, yeah, this is all. They're moving away from feeling in this stuck in their head. Anxious, yeah. The Two of Wands come out sideways, so which doesn't usually happen. So this masculine um, definitely was kind of, was in a place of being torn about which direction to go. But I feel that's changed because the Two of Cups come out right after that. So two, two, two could be significant here. World card, yeah. The this there's a new cycle coming in now where this masculine, yeah. The, uh, there's some sort of judgment going, some sort of judgment either literally taking place in a court right now, or this masculine has made a final decision. Has this masculine made a final decision? Has this masculine made? final decision. I just keep on hearing they're so lost without you. Yeah, they've made a final decision. Yes, the Hierophant card is my yes card. This this masculine has made a decision and the decision is they're stepping into their purpose here. So, yeah, look. Justice, two of pentacles, ten of pentacles. There's some... <laughs> hello. There's justice here over some sort of... Um, family inheritance, spiritual inheritance, something something legal has taken place here and I think this masculine knows he needs to close that out first. Yeah, again, look with the Ten of Cups right behind that and the Queen of Cups, the, yeah, Queen of Cups. And so they could actually be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with Pisces in their chart and the Seven of Swords right behind that. As I say, this could be a mother figure, but definitely somebody who's a Queen of Cups energy. Mm -hmm. and ten of swords well okay 
and that's my swan ear pops and a magician okay that's my swan's walking away from the illusions yeah they were trying to keep this matter in stock for his nine of pentacles they were trying to keep him distracted and under some sort of illusions it doesn't have to be with literal magic, you know, like gossip and lies is just illusioned as well. Five of Cups. This masculine, as I say, is seeing things clearly now and he's deep in regret here for his decisions. Yeah, and there's where we started. The Five of Swords and the Sun. So this masculine is definitely, um, he wants to end this conflict, this disagreement between him and his twin here. He wants to bring happiness back. He wants to bring the truth. Um, can you tell me does this masculine want to speak his truth here to his divine feminine <laughs> look he wants to put an end to the hangman he wants to put an end to this stuck energy and obviously my hang and yes that's the truth I was waiting on the ace of swords and that came out right after so yeah and there's the emperor and the queen of wands and the, the knight of cups this emperor has some sort of offer here for a queen of wands. Yeah. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. The star. Aquarius energy. So Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus and Capricorn are the, the biggest hitting um the biggest hitting signs and some Scorpio as well. Um, so this masculine, right, let's just clarify this. So if this masculine returns here with this romantic offer to his divine feminine and she can forgive him. <laughs> Do you have cups? <gasps> Celebrations all the way, reunion energy. So yeah, this this person just needs to up the courage here and I do feel we had um the we got the strength card and the devil card come out together. So this masculine's finding the strength to overcome the fears that are holding them back here. I think it's just purely what happens, yeah. This person feels in lack for what they've done here. But they do want to come in and offer you um some sort some form of new beginning. As I say, this person just thought you were too good to be true. But there's definitely something about family money here. They may have, yeah. Look, whatever collaboration um, they were involved in here with regards to inheritance, it came to nothing. Yeah, the day will go in the way. Money, greed, fears. But this person wants to apologize for not taking a leap of faith back towards you sooner. Anything else you want to add before I move on, please? <laughs> they are single. They are coming in here single after being distracted. <laughs> They're being guided by the angels. But I think also they feel yeah. Eight of Cups, this they're being this masculine is being guided here by Archangel Michael to walk away from this karmic situation. This could have been part of their south node karma clearing. Yeah, look, they were to they've completely ended out whatever this situation was. Judgment. So they've made a final decision. And again, look, three of cups over the devil. So this you and this um, masculine, or you and this you and this group of masculines, whatever this is, um. They're saying you're going to overcome. <coughs> yeah, you're going to overcome this devil energy. Um, now, as I say, it's just it's just all that card means is there's been fears and um, you know greed and all the other things that come with that card. But you can both overcome them because look, six of wands come out and the two of cups at the bottom again. <coughs> so you can overcome this. You can overcome the conflict, you can overcome the illusions, you can work on this connection and there's a, there is hope here. 
Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, working on the future. Lovers and the Strength card and the, the Ace of Wands. So strength for this connection, courage and forgiveness will bring in some sort of beautiful new beginning here. Um, and I do feel this masculine just has to get out his head and stop overthinking and come back and, and speak the truth to you in some way. Let's get um let's get some love meshes out for this connection and then I'll get some ascension cards. Okay. And we'll find out what energies are around the divine feminine masculine. Balance now we got the two of pentacles out three times. So there is balance required here. There needs to be there needs to be an equal balance and an equal give and take in the twin flame connection for it to be lasting and strong. So take your power back and boundaries, law of attraction, take a leap of faith, other ones that come out here, gratitude, overthinking and patience. Um, on the bottom of the deck, express your love and be honest. So uh, yeah, see, be honest in engagement and have faith. So, so that... What I'm getting with this overall energy here is, especially take your power back and balance and boundaries. If your twin flame connection is out of balance at all, it will never come into union in the 3D, ever, ever, ever. You will always be the person who sits on the sidelines. And I'm, I'm going to say this because this is a, the best way to describe it. So say for example your masculine is in a really crappy connection okay they're in a marriage where they've maybe got flash cars a big house they can afford to go three vacations a year but there's absolutely no intimacy when they get into bed at night one turns and faces the wall one way and one turns and faces the wall that way and that's how they sleep separate back to back no intimacy no love nothing cold the bedroom is as cold as ice. It's like Elsa or whatever from Frozen's been in there. So, so cue the twin flame. Divine feminine, divine masculine comes in to the masculine or feminine's life. Now suddenly, the one thing they didn't have in their marriage, they found because your twin is the only one who truly understands you. They accept every single part of who you are. It's, it's like... You, you suddenly feel like you've been at a jigsaw puzzle with a piece missing your entire life and then your twin comes into your life and it's like, I feel complete. I feel this is what I've been missing. This is the person I've been missing my entire life. But what happens is that usually the divine feminine, she feels it. That's why she goes through her awakening first because she feels the intensity. She feels that soul bond straight away. But sadly, the Divine Masculine, they feel it, but they deny it. And that's the way it's been designed to happen. They deny it because they're thinking to themselves, I don't want to leave the situation I'm in. I'm, you know, and I don't, you know, I'm not interested in, in love, whatever this is, you know, the usual yada, yada, yada. So, but what, what can happen is, Divine Feminines, the reason why I'm saying all this, there's a, a point to what I'm trying to say here. I'm just going a long way around it. The reason why balance, take your power back and boundaries come out is because what can happen is, and, and the reason why I'm saying this is because so many people email me with the exact same story. So I don't know where I'm going wrong. I'm always there for my twin. You know, if they message me, I'm, I respond straight away. If they need me, I'm there for them. This has been going on 10 years and I don't understand why they're still in their in their karmic relationship when they clearly love me. Now that's true. They do love you. But you are giving them that you are giving them that missing thing they don't have in their karmic relationship. And then that is why the karmic becomes addicted to the divine feminine's energy and they start to try and copycat you because they suddenly see their masculine has changed, you know, after the masculine's been with you, Divine Feminine, they will start to feel better, they, they start to be, 
you know, they feel more alive inside, they feel more energized because you're very healing to your masculine. So they then go back to their karmic relationship and suddenly they f they're very different to their karmic partner. And their karmic partner's like, oh, they're coming in very different tonight or today or whatever. So then they start to feel that your energy is affecting their masculine and they become addicted to your energy as well. And that's why you end up in a cycle where it's always a third party situation because the distorted feminine tries to, to, she becomes addicted to what you're changing in the masculine and then she wants to hold on to that masculine because they're different. And it just becomes a battle then between the distorted feminine and the divine feminine. And the only way for the divine feminine to actually overcome this three way blockage is to actually cut off giving any energy. Now, I'm not saying cut off the connection. Before anyone gets mad, I'm not saying walk away. It's like your choice if you want to walk away from your twin flame connection. Nothing to do with me. But I'm saying your energy. Pull back your energy. Do not let them text you whenever they want. Do not meet them whenever they phone and say, oh, you know, I've got a couple of hours free. Do you want to meet me for lunch? And I know because I used to do that. I would get a phone call something at nine o'clock in the morning. Or oh, do you want to spend the day together? And then I wouldn't hear for another three months. So... I'm just saying the only way, <clears throat> the only thing that actually stopped that for me was me saying no. I'm not someone who's going to be always here for you. I'm choosing myself. I'm putting myself first here. I am not, I'm not a side piece. I'm not a friend with benefit. I am <clears throat> past all that. So if that's what you're looking for, that is not me. And I had to, and it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. But when you do it, and I'm, I'm telling this because there's, there's lots of Divine Feminines who I know are watching this channel. And I'm telling you, you have to have the strength to cut off your energy for a while. Because that otherwise, the distorted feminine will hold on to your masculine because they're desperate for the way your masculine acts once they've seen you or been with you or spoke to you or had been intimate with you. The masculine, once they don't have your energy anymore, they know they have to shut out their karmic relationship to be with you. And then they start to see the difference of what their life is like without you and how they can't be without you. So that someone really needs to hear that. And I know a lot of feminists really need to hear that. But there's the overall spread here that come out in these cards. Balance, take your power back, boundaries, be honest. So there's an honest conversation coming in. Law of Attraction, so for those of you that, that don't really know what the Law of Attraction is, it says that you have been manifesting this relationship, everything you want will soon be yours. So this is just saying you have been manifesting this Divine Feminine. There's an engagement energy around this connection as well. We saw the Three of Cups, if you can forgive this masculine, they do want to express their love. Um, and have faith and have patience because... The more you overthink, and trust me, I do it myself. I'm not lecturing you because I'm not lecturing you because I know I know all of them. I'm lecturing you because that this is everything I've gone through myself. So, I mean, I still have an uh, an ongoing balance with overthinking. Faith isn't a problem for me. My faith is is my my superpower, but overthinking. I, I do, and I have to constantly remind myself to stop that. But there is going to be a need for a leap of faith here on both parts, the masculine and the feminine, um, because that leap of faith is going to be what's going to change the connection. Um, and I can tell you now, there's a lot of conversations coming in, and those conversations are going to make or break these twin flame connections. So... It's just saying, this is true love, but you've been on different paths. Look, you both went on to different paths, but it's true love. They are the one. So have faith. Like the, I always talk about the when something is fated, it doesn't matter if you both walk down different paths or not. Because there's always a reconciliation at the end of the path. And twin flame connections are very fated and destined. And no matter whether you and your person are on separate paths right now or not, just trust and have faith that the paths will eventually meet again. Okay? And they are. They definitely are. 
let's get some ascension energy then i'll get some i will get some zodiac signs and i'll see what comes out of the atlantis oracle and then i will get some twin flame meshes meshes from your twin flame so let's see but yeah sorry i'm sorry that was not meant to come across the lecture but someday in fact i know a lot of you do really need to hear that that is what happens that is the process so yeah that's why you have to just wait until your masculine um reaches out and they are because otherwise they'll just come in and out and um they'll just keep they'll keep it's almost like um i mean the masculine becomes a bit of an energy vampire themselves because it's almost like they they need a fix you know they'll maybe disappear for a few months then they'll come back and they need that hit again they need that energy boost and then they go back to their karmic situations with said energy boost so just a lot of divine families need to know that especially those of you that have been on this twin flame journey for 10 years plus um which is a long time <laughs> the golden silver violet flame so that came out earlier when i was shuffling before i started the reading as well so that energy is definitely coming through I'll read them out to you in a moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have an, another thin little orb just floated past me. So let's see what else wanted to come through. What other energies are working with this divine feminine and masculine? So Mahatma energy, we've had that before. Jesus, Lord Kameka. Any other energies, please? That are working with this masculine and feminine. So air energy again, um, we did get a lot of Libra, um, that's a bit too much, that is a bit too much. Oh, they said to take, I went and put that, that one back in, which one did you say? Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. Um, oh no, okay, that one. I thought that I saw Neptune there, but I saw it was actually another one. So, can, can you give me a couple more cards here please? Just a couple. I don't want to read too many. That one did want to come out. And that one. <laughs> oh, Aunt Lady Portia's energy came through the other night. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, I was just seeing if there was anything else on the bottom they wanted me to share, but they said no. So, that's fine. So the first card that came out was the gold and silver violet flame. There we go. So Archangel Zadkiel and Saint Germain are keepers of the violet flame of transmutation. When you add the gold of wisdom and the silver of grace and harmony, you create the powerful gold and silver violet flame. The, the angels suggest you invoke this mighty energy to clear the ascension path ahead of you and keep your light pure and clear. When you send the gold and silver violet flame to people, situations and places, you initiate wondrous transformations. The, power of, the powerful light transmutes the old and raises everything to a very high frequency. Your affirmation, I am the gold and silver violet flame. Um, so we've had this card before, the Mahatma energy. So in the golden era of Atlantic the, sorry, in the golden era of Atlantis, many great souls place some of their energy as well as the Christ Buddha light. And we've got the Buddha card as well. And and to Jesus, which is it's interesting. Um so the Christ Buddha light and that of the twelve rays into a sacred pool to create a high frequency grounding consciousness. People could um people could draw from the sacred pool to enhance themselves and their projects. The golden white Mahatma energy is once more available and you're invited to draw it through your chakra system into the earth. This will raise your frequency and help the planet. For you will leave golden white footsteps wherever you go. Send it to others to accelerate their ascension. I invoke the Mahatma energy to flow through me now. So that's a beautiful card as well. So we have Jesus. Jesus came from Venus, the planet of love. He was sent to earth to carry the Christ light at a time when the energy was very low. He incarnated as an Essene and received spiritual teachings throughout his childhood and adult life. Then he underwent many initiations to prepare his energy centers to carry the vibration of unconditional love. 
This card reminds you that all challenging people and situations are tests to prepare you for your ascension. To pass these tests, you need to respond to them with unconditional love and balance. Remember, there is only love. Your affirmation, I respond with unconditional love today. So, I mean, I don't need to even comment on that card. This is what I've been promoting on my channel since I started it. There is nothing else but uncondi unconditional love. I've always said it's the only superpower in the world. Everyone that fights over everything else, you know, land and power and gold and money and oil. When really the only superpower that everyone really has that makes them, that gives you your superpowers is unconditional love. Um, and that's not much more to say on that. <laughs> Just such a lovely card. Lord Kameka. So Kameka came from another universe to set the conditions for the golden age of Atlantis with Archangel Metatron. He has returned to be Shohan of the Eighth Ray, a soul ray of purification, enlightenment and communication. When you receive this card, you're on a quest for enlightenment. Your guidance is to breathe Kunaka's, um, Kumeka's blue topaz light into your aura, expand your attitude to one of unconditional love, acceptance of others and personal responsibility. Kumeka will open your new doors and guide your footsteps towards enlightenment and ascension. I call on Lord Kumeka to enlighten and support me. So definitely this masculine is going through some sort of major ascension right now. So Buddha, when you draw this card, Lord Kotama, who became the Buddha, is calling you to live in a state of peace, compassion and enlightenment. You're ready to expand your consciousness to include all that is and view the world from a higher perspective. You're asked to live in total harmlessness with all things. This creates safety for you, for all creations, will love and feel safe with, with you. Your guidance is to remember we are all one and to treat each person, animal and sentient being as if they are a beloved part of you. So I am one with everyone and everything. That's a Buddha energy. So air card. So the element of air supports truly magical cosmic qualities. Um, sylphs are elementals working for the elemental master Dom and supervised by the unicorns. You're guided to ask the unicorns to direct Dom and his syphilis, syphilis, <laughs> so syphilis, sylphs. <laughs> How can I carry on? <laughs> How can I carry on after that? Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I could edit that out, sorry. <laughs> Just read the quote. He's up in enlightenment. Oh, I feel so bad. Ascension enthusiasm. <laughs> Freedom and divine union into the mind of those who need them. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Also, ask them to purify currents of air. <laughs> sorry, I can't, I'm just going to read the rest because I can't do it. I can't do that. I'm so, I do apologise. That's such a beautiful card. And the unicorn, I love the unicorns. I do apologise for that card. Compose yourself. <laughs> Lady Portia. Oh my goodness. Lady Portia is known as a goddess of justice. And as I say, I did feel Lady Portia energy came through the other night in an, another reading. And we did get the justice card twice. As a lord of karma, she tempers justice with mercy and balance. In order to act with those golden qualities, you must let go of your own projections and prejudices and see the whole picture. When you receive this card, Lady Portia is calling on you to review an aspect, <laughs> so, review an aspect of your life or relationship to bring it fully into the fifth dimension. Be generous, hearted, open-minded and fair. And step aside from judgment and then your ascension path will be showered with gold. I am fair-minded, open-hearted and non-judgmental. So there's definitely justice playing out here and Lady Portia is energy down to help this balance being brought back. I don't, I'll leave this card here. Every time I try and read now I'm starting to laugh. So I am so sorry for anyone I offended by using that word. Um, what is... <laughs> It's so bad. I feel so, so bad for getting that word wrong. So, um, 
It's just me. I cannot be anything other than myself, guys. That's unfortunately that's just me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> this is me. So let's get an Atlantis Oracle card and I'll get some zodiac signs. Oh my goodness. I just honestly I just want to giggle and giggle and giggle and I'm trying to compose myself as best I can. Um so let's sorry, this was just the index card out there. <laughs> The Atlantis Oracle. Can I get some cards, please? Um, Atlantis Oracle energy coming through here for this this um masculine and feminine. What um Atlantis Oracle Oracle cards do you want to share with us at this time? Now, I have been getting a lot of dolphin energy, so definitely going to in Atlantis energy today coming through. So. Oh, that one. Okay. So education. So you in this, the masculine is coming in as a hierophant, which is teacher. The unicorns card came out. And it means I can apologize to them for making such a mess of the last card. Oh my goodness. Pills of, oh, that pills of energy. Remember, we just one of the cards was um, Mahatma energy and about the pool of energy, and there's a card coming out there as well. So, definitely something here about pool, pools of water. Um, anything else here? Anything else? Anything else want to come out of this deck? And I'll read. Is that us? Okay. Oh, definitely healers of some kind. Hmm. So, let's get these cards out. So, I'll read the unicorns one first. Um, so, it says, If you draw this card, the unicorns that wish to connect with you, find time to be quiet, preferably out in nature, think about them and allow them to touch you with the qualities of dignity, love, beauty and grace. They may offer you healing or reconnect you to your soul essence. Remain open to a message from them today. So I have connected with unicorns so many times. And can I tell you that I always end up weeping. It's just such a beautiful experience. So definitely um, when you're meditating, try and connect with the unicorns. And you'll, you, you'll see them in your third eye. And they come towards you. And you just feel this overwhelming sense of peace and love. Um, contemplation. So look, again, more unicorns in the background and the rainbows here. So it says, choosing this card suggests that it would help you to spend time in quiet contemplation. This may enable you to, clar um, to clarify the next part of a project or receive guidance about your future. It suggests that you know the answers but need to tune into your inner wisdom to, to access them. So the masculine is definitely spending time you know, more in nature and going through some sort of contemplative energy. Um, healing, so there's definitely some healing going on for the masculine, but I also think he is a healer of some kind. This card reminds you that there are people who need your help, so it's time to develop, hone or practice your healing abilities. It also suggests that you may need a boost of spiritual Reiki or emotional healing to raise your own light levels so i feel this masculine is needing some sort of healing from the divine and possibly the unicorns but he is definitely a powerful healer as well i think the divine feminine i mean mostly the divine feminine energy carries the healer gifts and the masculine carries a kind of hydrophone magician gifts um so that's just what i found materialization so it says if you choose this card your guidance is to become totally clear about what you want in your life. So this is not overthinking, keeping your thoughts positive and manifesting your dreams. Remember the first cards we got out here were believe in the impossible and your dreams are about to become a reality. So this is just clarifying this again. Be sure that you really want it. When you have this clarity, focus on your vision without doubts or um deviation and, and it will manifest so this is keep your your thought process clear in your mind what you want and let it manifest 
pools of energy. So your guidance is to call on the great cosmic pool of energy for it is time to truly manifest your dreams. Again, manifestation of dreams. Before you invoke the cosmic assistance, be still and focus on your vision. Only negative thoughts can hold you back now. So call in or visualize the violet flame to dissolve them. Move forward now. So the violet flame is definitely around this masculine and feminine energy here. And education. I did feel this masculine is a high form. He's, a, he's some sort of spiritual teacher. Drawing this card suggests that you you open yourself to new learnings by relaxing and absorbing information rather than being stuck in the old. So the masculine's definitely been pushed to that new vintage from the Christ Consciousness deck where be open-minded to learning new things here. It's not all about the past. Um, so it says, um, logic, you've been in a, looking at things in too much of a logical, structured way and I did feel that with the King of Swords energy. Alternatively, it may be time for you to teach others, in this case, draw from your own wisdom and not the books. So this masculine is definitely a higher font himself, but he is clearly, um, he's clearly, you know, supposed to be learning a bit more about his special gifts and stuff too. So let's get some signs. Now the signs I mostly picked up through the tarot spread were Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, um, Sagittarius, Taurus and Capricorn. So let's see. Um, so Scorpio and 11th house and the sun. We did get the sun card quite a few times as well. Gemini and Saturn and ninth house. So Scorpio again. So Scorpio, Neptune. I don't know why I had Neptune energy coming through and that's why I thought I saw it in the card deck. And seventh house. Neptune is um, definitely the Atlantis energy as well. Lemuria. Virgo. Fourth house. And Neptune. So Cancer, Neptune again, and fifth house. So Saturn, Aries, and ninth house again. Leo, the sun. Wow, Leo and the sun. And sixth house. And we're back to repeating the numbers again. So Gemini, 11th house, and, oh, Mercury. One more, we'll see if it repeats them again. Yeah, oh, Aquarius this time. Aquarius, we did get the star, um, third house, and Uranus. And we are definitely back to the start. So Gemini, oh, and Libra as well. And Cancer. So Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer and Leo were the strongest signs coming through. And Virgo came through again as well. Just double check. And Aquarius. So yeah, they're just giving me the same ones again. So yeah, so Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo. Cancer and Scorpio and Virgo are the main signs coming through. Um, so I'm going to get some dice on this masculine. It's always just fun to see what this masculine's got coming through energy-wise on the, the dice. And then I will get a message from them. Okay. So the bear energy comes through now, that is protection, that is divine masculine energy, but the masculine can also have a bear as their spirit animal or a spirit guide. The first aid kit, so this um, masculine definitely needs healed, but also this is a sign that they're a healer, which we already got from that. Um, now the tent cards here, so either this masculine is, either this masculine loves camping, loves the outdoors, but it can also mean that they're sort of setting up camp to move or relocate or something like that, setting up camp in a new place. Yeah, definitely travel here with a backpack. Could be travel coming up. There's a bike here, so this masculine could 
um, like mountain biking or they could have a motorbike because that's kind of like, it looks to me like some sort of motorised bike. The axis here, which is to do with cutting away all the karmic cords. The axe is to do with stopping the karmic cycles and cutting out the karmic patterns. Um, we, ha we have a coffee cup. <clears throat> and we also have the big pot thing here, so which has always told me there's something, there's something cooking, there's something on the, there's something, when I, I get that, whenever I see that, it always makes me think, like, something is slowly, it's like slow cooker, you know, like, something is coming to fruition, it's just taken a while to come to the boil. Um, the binoculars are here, which can mean somebody's watching, stalking, spying. Um, <clears throat> can either be your person with you, you with your person. Um, it, you know, whatever, it can mean anything at all, or it can mean that your person's being kind of watched by other people and things like that. Um, so let's get a message from your twin flame, from the twin flame messages deck to see what your person wants you to know. And thank you for waiting with me over the hour again. And I do apologise once again for my slip of the tongue. Um, nobody wants to spread that, no. <laughs> oh my I still can't believe I said that. I'm so sorry. I just wish I knew how to edit things out. I just don't know how to do it. I will need to learn. <laughs> so can I get some messages please from this? This divine masculine to his divine feminine. Yeah, this person is definitely giving you the silent treatment right now, but it's not for the reasons you think. <laughs> wow, okay. They know you have a mission together, and I said that. They know you have some sort of divine mission. Communication and hopeful. Just give me one or two more, please. Yeah, this person does want your forgiveness. Oh, wait, I'm not taking all of those. I am not taking all of those. I'll take that one. And that one. Okay. And that one. Right. I wasn't taking all of those. Because I'd be here literally till tomorrow. <laughs> trying to read out all the cards they put on the table. So, hopeful. I know we will be together again very soon. I hope we can put the past to I hope we can put the past and the bad times behind us and start all over again. I know I am asking a lot of you, but I hope you can forgive the error of my ways I acted so immaturely. So um communication. So I need to talk to you soon and feel you close to me again. I want to reach out to you. Please be open to receiving communication from me soon. Your response will encourage me greatly and I will be waiting to hear back from you. So this is energetically let your person know um, that you're open to it. If you feel this resonates with your situation and your person when, um, stayed in some sort of situation, which I'm sure many of you probably resonate with this, um, but if you feel it resonates with you, then definitely give them an energetic signal, like the bat signal. <laughs> The bat signal, um, you know, that you're open to hearing what they have. You're open to hearing their, their truth. So silence. I'm sorry for my silence. I just need a break. And now I don't know how to reach out to you again. I'm afraid you won't let me back. I know it's been a long time since we haven't spoke. But trust me, my love, I miss you so much during this time. And I'm finding my way back to you very soon. So again, that very soon in communication energy coming through. Hold me, things are not right in my world and I am longing for your embrace today. Please send me your love so that I can know everything will be okay between us. So definitely, as I say, although I'm encouraging people to, to, to stop communication in the 3D and stop being there, you can, during meditation, you can send loving and healing energy to your twin, but just don't over give your energy either because if you're constantly thinking of them constantly sending them those loving signals then you're still giving them as much energy so definitely send them loving intentions pray for them whatever you do but um send them healing energy as well um you can protect them and you know if you feel they're dealing with toxic situations you can send 
you know, bubbles of white light, gold light, whatever this means to you, even the violet flame, put a violet bubble around them to help them transmute and things like that. But don't over give the energy, um, especially not in the 3D. Just advice, you don't need to take it. So mission together, together we are unstoppable force. We have a purpose together and I, I am determined to live out with you. We are just perfect together. We can overcome any obstacle if we work as a team on this. So your masculine knows they have a divine purpose with you. I love you. We are we are bonded in eternal love that goes beyond but goes beyond all space and time. Close your eyes and reach out into the infinity and know that it is real. I really want to reach out to you and talk to you and tell you how much I love you. Um I have so much love for you, my heart. I I am nothing in comparison with anything sorry. I, sorry, I can, nothing can compare with anything. I remember always my love that I love you. So that card literally just says, I love you. Sorry about me fluffing my words there. Protected, I will always protect you, my love. Even if, even when we are not together or not at this time, my higher self is always with you. I will always protect you and the love we share. I will keep boundaries around my heart that only you can cross. So, that's an important thing to remember. When you start to understand your masculine is always here and you think my masculine is not protecting me, they're not standing up for me. Yeah, the 3D, they might be silent, they might not be showing you anything, but here they're always with you and they're always with you in your heart, trying to protect the connection as well. So just trust they're always with you. And that's something my person always says to me as well. I'm always with you. I'm always with you. We are always together. We are always together. And that's something that he always wants to say. Um, and it's true. Your, your masculine is always with you. Just because you can't reach out and touch them in the physical right now, it does mean that they're not with you, okay? So I'm sorry for the pain I have caused you. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I wanted to be there to comfort you, but was afraid. I was afraid of letting you down. So, and the last one, let go of your fear. You are safe with me. I have no fear of making mistakes. Nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you. There are no mistakes on this journey, only soul lessons. Everything happens for a reason. It's safe to be vulnerable with me. So, again, that's something I need to always remember as well. There is no wrong path. I mean, there's different paths, but there's no wrong path because they're all you're always fated to come back together. And there's nothing can stop you. Nothing can come between you and your twins love for each other. But just as I say that, the love you card jumped out again. Because just for that reason alone, they are your twin. And it's an unbreakable love. And no matter what goes on in 3D, I know this is so tickling. No matter what goes on in the 3D, it's so clear that you and your person's love is unbreakable. It doesn't matter if you go a different path, they will always come back together in the end. So just trust and have faith that it's going to come back around, okay? So there we have it, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go and have a, a good giggle at that now. And I really wish I could edit it out. And I do apologise for anyone I offend. <laughs> especially the poor unicorns and whoever else was, I was reading about on that card. I do apologise, but I think they'll forgive me. <laughs> I hope so. But thank you all so much. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for the love you bring to my channel. I'm, I'm possibly going to be starting doing a few shorter messages as well because I have quite a lot that comes through. And I'm just, I feel like one message a day, a big long message, isn't going to quite cut it anymore. I have to try and um, work out what I'm going to do here. So... I will be trying to figure out there's more messages to come through and I need to just try and figure out, work out my timing better. But thank you all so much for the love you bring to this channel. I cannot thank you enough to even the people that email me as well. And thank you so much for all the love. I receive an email and comments, your likes, your shares. Thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me. So it really does. Thank you so, so much. So I send you all love and light as always. Have a nice day and night wherever you are in the world and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.